Hey guys, we're working on a Porsche Macan and we're at the trim dressing stage. And I thought it'd be a great opportunity to kind of bring you in and just discuss a little bit about how we approach it. Um, so relatively new car, um, obviously this trim is in really nice shape. And this process can be used no matter how old or new and, and the products that are used here are kind of, um, they can work at, at, at any age of the trim. So how do we start here? The first thing I typically like to do, especially being that this plastic is in the back of the vehicle, this is usually the area where a lot of tar and orange dots and all that kind of stuff accumulates. And there's actually a decent amount of, of, of black plastic trim on, on the Macan, a little bit on the sides, a lot in the front. So there's a lot to work with. So we got to figure out, okay, what do we want to do? Do we want to dress it with something? Um, so it, at the same time, when you're, when you're thinking about detailing and dressing the trim um, you also want to decide okay what dressing or coating or sealant do I want to use to put on it to give it a long lasting you know nice satin uniform look I think that's another thing that's the most important is I always have um, in this example a, uh, a scan grip um, to allow me to really look at the trim and making sure that I'm, get, I'm, I'm coating it uh, with a dressing or whatever um, very evenly, I'm not missing any spots. That's a, that's a big important step. So how I uh, initially approach it is this. I usually have some Tarminator. Um, again, love Tarminator. So I always have a little bit of Tarminator and I'm giving the, the trim a, a solid white down. And why I'm doing this is I'm getting, I'm making sure there's no tar spots. I mean, you'll have to use a little bit of pressure if there are some isolated tar spots here and there. In this example, um, obviously this is relatively new. So we're just kind of prepping it and getting it clean. Now, a lot of these tar removers leave behind a residue. Um, it's a little bit slick almost sometimes. It's kind of leaves, it's like very oily. So what I'd like to do after, after I've removed the tar, removed the heavy dirt and grime, because sometimes there's a lot of accumulation like in these little weird zones, especially up here, that's where the light comes into play. So you can kind of look at all the different angles and make sure everything's totally clean. Then I like to do just a, a mild, you know, 50-50 IPA wipe down just to remove any of that cleaning residue. Now at the same time, right, we talked about Tarminator um, to remove tar spots and it's always been my go-to for this kind of stuff. But there's, you know, there's products like Nexet, um, Deep Plastic, which do an awesome job at kind of cleaning this material and preparing it for a dressing. So, the cleaning part is totally your discretion. You know, choose a product that you think will accomplish what you're trying to remove, whether it be tar, whether it be just dirt and grime. Um, but there's definitely a lot of room for um, your own selection when it comes to the cleaning side of it. Um, then either way, do a light isopropyl alcohol wipe down, 50-50, uh, and then remove that, that cleaning residue. Um, then, right, we go into our dressing. And I like to approach it in a couple different ways. Again, foam swabs are a huge part of it, just like everything else. Um, I have my dressing of choice um, and I have a microfiber towel. Now you can also use like a nice microfiber applicator. Uh, again, totally, totally um, your own preference. But the reason I like a microfiber towel sometimes, and let's just open this up a little bit, is I like the ability to kind of have like a couple of fingers here and just kind of being able to go into, you know, into little nooks and stuff. Sometimes with a big applicator, you're spreading it so thick, you're not really forcing that, um, you know, this, this dressing into all these, you know, inside the Porsche lettering, all that kind of stuff. So the microfiber towel really, I think, works really, really, really well. And I also think at the same time, it helps kind of knock down some of the high spots and, and it leaves more of a uniform look, which is really good. Um, the foam swab part is, a, is, again, another essential thing. It kind of, so there you can, if you can see here, we have this kind of like trim body line where this diffuser meets the bumper and there is like a little kind of recessed edge there. So I, what I do is I put a little trim dressing right, you know, kind of on the, on the edge of the swab and I just force the dressing into that little nook there. Because if you, if you had a light on it, you know, you can, t you can totally see um, 
where that if we didn't do that, you could see kind of the un undressed trim kind of stuck in there. And this and this can be used, I mean, in these up top here in a lot of different, in, in a, especially on the side of the car, the, uh, the, um, the foam swabs are going to come into play. So foam swabs, microfiber towel, those two, I think they work great together in, in getting a nice uniform protected piece of trim. Um, it's something that's worked well for us. Um, thanks, thanks for watching guys. Talk to you soon.